All right, so this video is going to be about the um, T-line overall final modified, completely done, and the final weight. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a few months, but I just haven't had time, but here it is. I haven't been buying anything for my bike uh, in a few months as well, so I'm pretty much done and 100% happy with the bike the way it is, so let's go. So I did have to make a list because, uh, you know, the whole bike's pretty much uh, modified and I need a list so I don't forget anything and here it is. All right, so first of all, the Brompton T-Line Urban 4-Speed, this is the low-rise handlebar. It was uh, $5,465.53, and that is, of course, including tax. The first modification I made was the grips. These are the SE Racers Edge grips. Um, I love them, they're very comfortable. Compared to the stock ones, they, they feel much better. And this is the way to go if you don't want to go with the uh, Aragons. Next to them is the Ace of Fix 52 gram carbon fiber brake levers and these have been working well for me. When I use them, I'm careful not to um, squeeze too hard because I think if I do, they'll probably break, um, which is a problem a few of you actually have told me that, you know, you've actually snapped it. So I am actually careful when I use these brake levers. And the thumb shifter and bell fixture mount is made by H&H. &H. Spur grips, carbon, grips in the front. I love these. These are probably the best upgrades I've made so far. Moving down, we got the Chris King Inset 7 two-tone. These look great. So whenever you're looking at the bike, your eyes go straight to this. So as far as looks, this is probably the best upgrade. And also it includes the Type Parts Workshop headset adapter, which you need to get these on. Okay. Uh, the wheel set, these are the SMC carbon wheel sets. They have been working great. I'm using the Cane Creek EE brakes with the Cane Creek brake pads. They stop the carbon wheels very nice. These are also the stock um, four-speed cassette. I actually like the gearing that came on the Brom 15 line. The only thing I changed was the chain ring size. Okay, and these are the Continental Urban tires with the Tubalito tubes. I mentioned the brakes already, but the brakes also, you have to buy a Type Parts Workshop reverse wire guide um, and a mount adapter, a wiring kit, and I got these cable cherries by Forge Cycles. And what's nice about that is it just looks really nice. Um, compared to the stock brakes, performance-wise, they're not better. I would say they're about the same, but you know, you do save a little bit of weight, but this is basically for looks. All right, next we got the Praxis crank set and bottom bracket. Attached to it, we have a Lightworks version 2 ultralight chain ring, which is 110 BCD and 54 teeth, okay? This setup is great for me. It's just perfect for going off bridges and going down it. It's, it's actually a very great setup for me. I never feel like I'm lacking a gear. Also on it, I have the Wolf tooth bolts. These are the orange bolts here and they look very nice. And those are made in um, USA as well. Next, we have the, the Type Parts Workshop mini quick release single-sided pedal. So the quick release is on the left and this is just the fixed side. And as you can see, I am not missing any of the bolts and they still spin very smooth. These are probably the most expensive, but best pedals you can buy for the Brompton, I think. You know, they work great. These little knobs here, they grip your shoes very well and my foot's actually never fell off. All right, next we have the Sele Italia SP01 Boost Techno Super Saddle S3. This is the short version and this saddle is very nice and it's paired off to my H&H &H 520 millimeter carbon C-Post DC12K pattern. I love this thing. There are not many scratches on it, so it's holding up very good uh, for a weekend uh, bike. And if you look quickly behind the seat post, we have the H&H &H Titanium Easy Stand version 2. These have been working great and they're very good to use, especially on trains, so your bike doesn't roll back. 
Overall, this bike has Type Watch Workshop hinge bolts and a bolt set. So we got the H&H &H tensioner in the back, H&H &H suspension block here, and the final upgrade were these lights, the Nog Twin Pack lights. For 20 bucks, you can't beat these lights because they come 20 bucks on Amazon and uh, they charge really well. They just simply snap off, you plug it into your back of your computer and then you simply put it back on. That completes the total build as of now. Um, as you know, I like to make changes, but I haven't made a change on my bike in a few months. So hopefully this is the complete bike and the total cost. So the final total build cost is $9,604.79. All right, and the final weight on this bike is 15.5 pounds. All right, so I would have liked it to be like, you know, 14.99 just to say I have a 14 pound bike, but uh, I'm very happy with the 15 pound weight. To get it to 14 pounds, I would have to probably spend another couple thousand dollars getting the parts that weigh, you know, very minimal. And uh, it's just, to me, it wasn't worth it. And I'm very happy with this build. And I'm curious if you actually have a T-line, what your final weight is, because I know some of you have much lighter T-lines, especially if you deleted the rear brake. But let me know in the comments below. All right, so let me know what you guys think. This is my dream bike. I'm going to be riding this probably for the next decade. Look at that. Thanks for joining me. Like this video and leave me a comment. I know everybody doesn't want a uh, $9,000 bike, but like I said, this is my dream bike. And this is the only Brompton that I've modified to this point besides my Superlight. I modified the Superlight before I knew the Teen Line was coming out. And as soon as I finished building the Superlight, this model came out and I bought it. And that's why I modified it. If this came out and you know, I knew that the, this was coming out, I would not have modified my Superlight to that point. All right? So thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Wow.